record yourself answering questions. Ask yourself some typical speaking test questions and record your answers on your mobile device or computer. Then listen to your answers. Did you use a range of grammatical structures? Did you use any less common vocabulary? Did you mispronounce many words? Did you hesitate a lot? You might not notice all your mistakes, but you will notice a few of them. Write down your answers. While you listen to your recorded answers, you can write them down word for word. This way, you will notice more of your mistakes and if you have followed the advice in this course. Practice describing your own photographs. This will train you to talk about your memories in case you get a question about an event or experience in your past, which is quite common in the speaking test. Try to talk about what the event was, when it took place, and say how you felt. Read a text and then speak it. Firstly, read a text or article. Try to summarize what you read in your own words. Record yourself and write down your summary. This will train you to paraphrase and use synonyms effectively, which is important if you want to achieve a high band. Recall your memories. In the speaking test, the examiner may ask personal questions about your life. Think about the people you know, the places you have visited, the events you have attended, and the objects that you own. Then practice talking about them. Think aloud. Instead of thinking in your own language, try thinking aloud in English. For instance, instead of planning your day in your native language, say the same thing in English. For example, OK, today I've got an important meeting. I should get going. I'm going to be late. This will make you feel more comfortable speaking English. Watch films. Watching films is a good way to improve your spoken English. The more you listen to native speakers, the more confident you will become in speaking. Try to understand what the actors are saying. Pay attention to the structures or look up words in a dictionary. Try to follow the subtitles in English or in your own language. Find a speaking partner. If you don't have a teacher to help you prepare for the test, or if you need additional practice, find a speaking partner. If possible, try to find a partner who is slightly above your level. However, this might not be so easy since your partner will also need your help. Listen to English speakers. Listening is very important. The more you listen to native speakers, the more confident you will feel in speaking. Sources of listening include real people, tourists, travelers, and so on, audiobooks, and podcasts. Think in English. If I had to recommend just one preparation tip, I would suggest this. Between now and the day of your test, try to think in English as much as possible. This requires a lot of discipline, but thinking in English has a lot of benefits. It can make you hesitate less when you speak because you are not translating from your own language all the time. This will improve your confidence and you will sound more natural. In fact, this is one of the secrets of successful language learners. And don't worry too much about making mistakes. Thinking in English might not improve your grammar or vocabulary, but it will improve your fluency and coherence. And remember, fluency and coherence is 25% of your speaking test score.